Congratulations on your purchase of a MagnaDrive Adjustable Speed Drive, the newest technology for efficient and cost-effective speed control. This video demonstrates key steps in the installation of the MagnaDrive ASD and should be used in conjunction with the detailed instructions contained in your ASD installation manual. Before unpacking, handling, or beginning assembly and installation of the ASD, it is essential to read and understand the safety precautions included in the manual. Also, refer to your installation manual for a complete list of pre-installation work requirements and the tools and equipment necessary to complete your installation. The instructions and demonstrations in this video have been used successfully across a variety of applications. While variations are possible in the installation process to meet specific conditions at each site, certain operations should be performed exactly according to the instructions to ensure safe and efficient operation. Please contact MagnaDrive with questions about or problems with any portion of the installation process. This video is divided into six segments to help facilitate the installation of a MagnaDrive ASD. Unpacking, base site and shaft preparation, preparing the ASD for installation, installing components onto load shaft, installing the components onto the motor side, and motor placement and ASD alignment. The major components of the MagnaDrive ASD as shipped are the installation manual, magnet rotor, please read and understand the safety precautions and guidelines in the installation manual before unpacking and handling the magnet rotor, the conductor, hubs, B-lock clamps, actuator linkages, and actuator arms. Depending on the size of the magnet rotor unit, these can either be attached or separate. The actuator will be shipped directly from the manufacturer, separate from the ASD, and may vary from this example. Motor base modifications should all be complete, including the slotted holes for the motor foot bolts and the motor feet jack screws. Install the motor and load shaft half keys and file and sand the shafts as required to provide a smooth, clean fit for the ASD hubs. Make sure the shafts are free of any oil, grease, or anti-seize. This is to ensure proper torque transmission between the shaft and the hub. Measure motor and load shaft runout and end play. Test fit of the hubs should be done at this time. The hubs should be free to rotate and slide once aligned. For ASD sizes 22.5 to 26.5, remove inner and outer actuation arms. This step is not required for sizes 10.5 to 20.5. Be sure to install the hub connection bolts before placing the install shrink disc onto the hub. Shrink disc screws should be loose to allow the compression ring of the shrink disc to slide on the hub. Install the hub onto the shaft until the shaft end is flush with the end of the hub. If there's interference, verify clearance of the half key. Do not force this assembly. Hone the hub inner diameter to loosen the fit if necessary. Tighten the shrink disc clamp bolts until the hub cannot be hand rotated independent of the shaft. Place the dial indicator on the hub and measure and adjust the radial and face runout ensuring the total indicated runout of each face is less than one thousandth. If total indicated runout exceeds specifications, locate high point of runout at twelve o'clock and apply a blow with a soft sided mallet on the edge of the hub to correct the runout. Final torque the shrink disc bolts in a circular pattern. Record shrink disc screw torque and total indicated runout on your installation checklist. Verify the runout measurements to ensure that the hub stayed in position and corrected if necessary. Place the hub and B-lock clamp on the motor shaft and inspect and clean the mating surfaces. Using a permanent marker, match mark the conductor prior to disassembly. Remove the motor side conductor. Place the load side conductor with air gap spacers on a non-magnetic surface, 
For added safety when installing ASD sizes 10.5 to 20.5, MagnaDrive recommends placing cardboard pieces on the load side conductor copper, two thicknesses about two inches square. ASD sizes 22.5 to 26.5 have jacking screws. Using the proper lifting gear, lift the magnet rotor and place the flange of the magnet rotor into the center of the load side conductor. Gripping the conductor in a safe manner so as not to pinch fingers between the magnet rotor and conductor plate, lift the conductor until the magnet rotor is engaged. For ASD sizes 22.5 to 26.5, reinstall the inner and outer tube arms and use the actuation arms to move the magnet rotor to the narrowest full off position. Using the proper lifting gear, place the magnet rotor flange onto the load shaft hub flange. Using thread locking compound on the bolts, torque the hub bolts to the specified torque using a crisscross tightening pattern. It is essential to place the dial indicator on the end of the center shaft to measure total indicated runout. While rotating the magnet rotor, identify the highest total indicated runout reading. Using a soft face mallet, tap on the top of the magnet rotor to adjust the shaft end runout to less than two thousandths of an inch total indicated runout for 1800 RPM applications and less than one thousandth of an inch total indicated runout for 3600 RPM applications. The closer this reading is to zero, the less potential vibration there will be due to runout. After tightening the motor side B-lock clamp so the assembly no longer rotates freely, place the dial indicator on the hub and measure and adjust the radial and face runout, ensuring the total indicated runout of each face is less than one thousandth. Once again, this step is crucial. If total indicated runout exceeds specifications, locate the high point of runout at 12 o'clock and apply a blow with a soft-sided mallet on the edge of the hub to correct the runout. Final torque the shrink disc bolts in a circular pattern. Record the shrink disc screw torque and total indicated runout on the installation checklist. Verify the runout measurements to ensure that the hub stayed in position. Inspect and clean mating surfaces before installing. Install the motor side conductor half onto the motor hub with the hub flange bolts and thread locking compound. Tighten to the specified torque using a crisscross pattern. Using the proper lifting gear, bring the motor into a position away from the magnet rotor, yet close enough to install the motor feet bolts. Align the conductor match marks for reconnecting the conductor halves. The load side conductor may need its position adjusted to line up horizontally. Move the motor using the jack screws to mate the motor side conductor with the match marked air gap spacers. Install the air gap spacer hardware with thread locking compound and torque to specification. Using the actuator arms, position the magnet rotors to their full on position. This is closest to the conductors or the minimum air gap position. It's important to adjust the motor feet jack screws until an even air gap between both magnet rotors and conductor plates is achieved. Check the angular alignment and shim the motor feet as required to equalize the readings. When aligning the ASD, the goal is to get the magnet rotors as centered as possible inside the conductor housing. Refer to the installation manual for a more detailed explanation of this procedure. Torque the motor foot bolts to specification and recheck the air gap and angular alignment.